Hello and welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, we're doing the chapter 9 word problems, the assigned odd number problems. And before I get started, um, this, the word problems here are basically going to be the application of the theory. So go back and watch the other videos on the theory portion. I'm not going to go through an, uh, any of the theory unless I think it's necessary. Like, for example, um, if I'm going to jump ahead here a couple of slides. Okay, so here are, um, here's a slide, here's a slide, and here's a slide. You know, three slides, this one being for using for the percentage method and these other two for the bracket method. Uh, I am not going to be explaining how this, you know, the theory behind all of this but I will have these here slides and I will be bouncing back and forth between the problems and these slides so that I'm not always reproducing this, uh, these particular slides for each and every uh, problem. So um, we'll start with uh, word problem number you know, 9-21. And again, the theory is covered in the other videos, so go back and if you don't have good grounding, go back and watch that, those videos, and then come back here and we'll see the application of that theory. Um, just realize that there's going to be a lot of math here because it, it's just the nature of, of doing payroll. There's going to be a lot of math, so it's going to take a little bit more time to be doing uh, each and every one of these here problems. Okay, so with that said, we're going to start out here with uh, Rhonda Brennan, found her first job after graduating from college, drew the classifieds of the Miami Herald. She was delighted when the offer came through at $18.50 per hour. She completed her W-4 stating that she is married with a child and claims an allowance of three. Her company will pay her bi-weekly for 80 hours. Calculator take home pay for her first paycheck. So, let me get my pen here. Come on, pen. Okay, so 80 hour, uh, 18.50 an hour, um, 80 hours bi-weekly. Okay, so it's getting 1850 by 80 hours is going to be her gross pay. Okay. Let's see, that's 1850 times 80. All right, so 1850 times 80 hours gives us $1,480 as her gross pay. Now, um, let's figure out. Uh, let's do the uh, first is uh, federal withholding tax. Okay, and we know that uh, she's going to uh, be claiming three allowances. So now, if, when we're looking at our withholding chart here, um, since the payroll is biweekly, that means for each holding allowance, it's 146.15. So. We have 146.15 times three allowances, okay, and that's going to uh, give us $438.45. Now that's the deduction um, for the allowances, so we subtract that 438.45 from our gross pay, and we end up with one thousand forty one dollars and fifty five cents okay, this one thousand forty one fifty five is what we're going to use in order to calculate how much we're going to withhold for federal withholding tax so when we come down to our chart we're looking at our bi-weekly chart and she's married and since it was a thousand and forty one fifty five, we're going to come over here and we're going to see that we're over the nine hundred and eighty one dollars right here. Okay. So we're going to have uh, over nine hundred and eighty one, but not over three thousand and thirty one. So that thousand and forty five, thousand and forty one falls in between here. So that means we're going to withhold sixty six ninety right off the top plus an additional 15% on any amount 
in excess over the $981. So if we had $1,041.55, okay, we have to find out what the excess amount is over 981, which means we subtract the $981. And when we subtract that, we end up with $60.55. Okay. Now we take 15% of that $60.55. Okay. Um, that ends up being 60.55 times 15%. That ends up being $9.08. Okay. So we're going to withhold $9.08 on the amount that's over and above the $981 or the $60.55. But our chart is telling us that on the $981, we're going to withhold $66.90. Okay. So to figure out our total withholding, we're going to take $66.90 and add it to the uh, add 908 and that's going to give us $75 and 98 cents in federal holding tax okay um, if you need to uh, pause the video go back over that um, and uh, you know if you have any additional questions you don't understand something you know feel free to, to telephone uh, or and speak with an instructor or no contact us via email. So for federal withholding, all right, I'm going to write this up here for federal withholding tax. Um, we're going to withhold $75.98. Okay. Uh, let me do this here. And our gross pay is going is one thousand four hundred and eighty dollars okay uh, notice that I'm erasing here a lot <laughs> okay I'm gonna keep track of the, the facts sort of up here okay so that's how we did our uh, federal withholding tax seventy five dollars and ninety eight cents right now we have to do um, Social Security now Social Security um, as you recall, is 6.2%, and the limit is, according to the book, is $110,100. Well, um, we're most likely not going to have too many examples where we hit the $110,000 limit. So, in this particular case here, um, let's see here. Okay, so this is going to be her first paycheck. So. Um, she's starting out at zero wages, and since she only earned uh, $1,480, she's you know well below that limit. Okay, so to calculate the Social Security, we take the $1,480 and multiply it by the 6.2 percent. Okay, and when we do that, we end up with $91.76. So Social Security is $91.76. We're going to do the same thing with uh, for our Medicare. All right, Medicare is 1.45 percent, okay, on all wages. So there's no worrying about a limit here. So we take the 1480, the gross pay, and we multiply that by 1.45 percent, and we end up with uh, 21 dollars and 46 cents. So Medicare is equal to 2146. Okay. All right. Now the question, um, you know, the to keep things um, relatively simple, um, unless the problem specifies that, you know, like in this case here, it's not giving us any information about state withholding tax or local withholding tax or uh, you know things like this any other additional deductions so when you're working through these word problems 
just use the information that's given. I mean, if it had said state withholding tax was 3%, well, then you would know that you need to calculate a state withholding tax. But because it isn't being given, you don't need to uh, calculate it. Right? Yes, you're given information. You know, For most of these problems, you're always definitely going to uh, calculate the federal withholding, the Social Security, and the Medicare. All right? But any of the other deductions, it all depends upon whether it's part of the problem or not. Okay, so the problem now says calculate her take-home pay for her first paycheck. Well, if her gross pay is $480 and we have to subtract $75.98, we subtract the $91.76, and we subtract the $21.46, okay. that gives us a remaining a net pay of $1,290 and... 80 cents. Okay, so that's the net pay. That's her take home pay. And that's the answer to that particular question. Okay, so um, I hope you understood that. And if not, again, pause, watch the video again. If you don't understand the theory or where the numbers are coming from, go back and watch the theory videos for the payroll in Chapter 9. Okay, and if you still don't understand something, you know, feel free to contact an instructor. All right, I'll see you in the next video.